for like YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of Dead Man's Chest. So fit like is what I say at the start of every video and basically it's just Scottish for how are you. So loads of people keep asking me that, what am I saying at the start of the videos? So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, so this is the Copypod tank that I set up before and it's on the windowsill and this really was a bad idea. It was just in the way of everything. And I also started a phytoplankton section, put a bottle on the windowsill and it was just too much clutter. So I'm gonna move it over to my fish room. Okay, so finally got everything moved over from the kitchen onto this temporary stand. I'm also doing a voiceover just now, just because of the noise and the family's watching a movie, so that's blaring right through onto my video. So the voiceover is the only way to basically get you guys to hear what I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, this isn't very nice looking and it's a bit of a shambles to tell you the truth. However, it's doing the job just now, but I think what I'm planning to do now is I'm gonna get some wood and I'm going to build a stand and make a phytoplankton station which should look way better than this so the stand is going to be built using this 2 by one pine and some MDF okay so here's the basic framework I've put together so far didn't want to bore you with me sawing and screwing everything so Trying to make this video as short as possible. So it's taken shape. And I've built it like this because I'm going to have two glass shelves. Now it's toughened glass, so it's more than capable of handling the weight that's going to be put on it. But the idea is that I'm going to have the glass shelves and then I can have some T8 bulb lighting. Which will then light the phytoplankton from underneath. And then I'm also going to put those clip-on lights at either side. So the phytoplankton effectively will be lit from below here and on each side. And on the bottom, that's where I'm going to keep my rotifers and copepod cultures. Which will then hopefully be used to feed my baby clownfish fry if I can actually manage to, to breed them. But so far, yep, it's looking pretty good. Really happy with it. A million times better than that purple jugs and bit of wood I've got in the fish room at the moment. So it's getting there. Right, here we go. I've put the glass shelves in place, clipped on the lights. I've not wired anything up properly yet, but this is just a little test run to see, see how it's going together, how things are looking. And so far, I think it's going to work a treat. Now, I'm using these 5 litre jugs. got these second hand, £10 for the two. Sterilised them, give them a good clean. So, this is what I'll be using for the phytoplankton. And I think it looks awesome. I'm going to put T8 lighting underneath. And that's going to light the phytoplankton from below. And then we've got that spotlight to either side. And I'm going to... I've got like a LED strip that I'm going to put on the bottom. But yep, I think this is looking really, really nice. Pretty cool. Right then. I've wired up the T8 bulbs and there's tons of light in here. Now, the thing with all the lighting that I've got just now is the bulbs are kind of the wrong colour temperature. They're like 4000K. Ideally, I would like 65, 6500K bulbs. Um, yeah, I think the 65K would be way better. Uh, so, But that's all right. I can easily get new bulbs. So I'm going to order new bulbs and this will look even brighter and it'll be way better for the phytoplankton. 
So now the LED strips are in place. Had these lying about anyway, so thought I may as well make use of them. The rotifer scope was didn't need much light, but they're getting light spill from the T8 bulbs above them. And then that LED strip at the bottom. So I'll just I won't have them on disco lights all the time, it's just gonna be leaving them on white. So temporarily run in the living room, making sure everything fits in place before I get it moved into the wee fish room. But so far very happy. I've still got an MDF board to fit on the back. Alright, the Kobe pods are getting a disco on, they're getting the party on. So, like I said, I'll put these LEDs to just white, but yeah, all the Kobe pods are having a good time in there. Now, I was going to paint the stand white, but I decided ugh, I'll just stain it and just to protect the wood. I didn't want to leave the wood bare because obviously there'll be spills and stuff. So just to protect the wood, I've just give it a quick wood stain. And uh, I think it's looking pretty good. So here's the phytoplankton. It's working well. And I'm actually ready to start another culture on the other side as well. So I'll get that done in the next day or so. But I think you'll agree that it fits in here like a glove. Like a finger up an airs. <laughs> it looks pretty good, like really happy. And even if I didn't get any clownfish babies, at least I'm going to have plenty of food for the, the reef dunk. So here's a wee look at my fish room. Nothing fancy. It's a very, very small space, but you got to work with what you've got, make the best of what you've got, and uh, I'm certainly trying to do that. So I've got my salt, my dozing containers at the bottom there, and the test kits, and then my little phytoplankton station. So there's my air pump, just got like a few taps on it, and each each bottle's got a colour coordinated hose so that I know exactly which one that I'm adjusting. So the green's obviously the phytoplankton, the blues for the Kobe pods, and the yellow is the rotifers. So just need to get these bulbs changed. And I've ordered some, so hopefully get that done soon. But yeah, really, really happy with this. Looks awesome. Okay, okay, so I'm just going to change these T8 bulbs for the new ones that are a way better Kelvin rate for growing the phytoplankton. It's 6500K and it should be a lot brighter. So just going to get these swapped over just now. Unfortunately, I did hope that the spotlight bulbs would have arrived at the same time, but sadly, nope. So I'll get them changed when they do. So in the meantime, it's just a case of whipping these out. So here's the T8 bulbs I'm using. Ever ready. Daylight bulbs. 6500K. 18 watts. So these should produce way better light spectrum for the phytoplankton. And these just slot in and you just twist. Very simple. One down, one to go. Come on. And she goes. Right, we'll just get this glass back on. 
an Ucha. That's that is bright. <laughs> There we go. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm going to hate to move this airline tube in. And, right. Get my phyto plugged in. Oh, I can't believe how bright that is. It's way brighter than the other bulbs. Fantastic. Sorted. Right, so last thing to do is just put on the end caps. So I deliberately left these off before because I knew I was going to be changing the bulbs. So just fire these on and jobs are good in. Arr, fit like YouTube. Welcome to my phytoplankton station. <laughs> There's Bruce the shark. So here we go, the finished result. This is the completed stand. The T8 bulbs, I've got the proper light spectrum. Like I said, I'm still waiting on the side bulbs. The rotor for container, I'm going to swap that to a sweetie container, the same as the copy pods. Uh, just because the ridges seem to be, I don't know, it's just annoying. The 5 litre jugs I've got here. These are working well and for the lids I've just used some of this sponge because it still allows the air to pass but it stops contaminants getting into the bottles. So that's working really well. Really happy with that. And I've got some new containers coming for the rotifers which should be better. Now for the clownfish tank, if I get baby clownfish up in the, the hexagon tank I'll be using this air pump. And the filter sponge for this is in the sump just now. So that's getting full of bacteria, which will be able to support the baby clownfish if and when I need it. But, yep, so this is it, shipmates. What do you think? I think it looks way better than a few jugs and a bit of wood, <laughs> like before. And, um, yep, I must admit, I'm very pleased with it. Really happy with myself. I'm not a joiner, but I think I've done myself proud here, like. So, all in all, we'll see how this goes. But, hopefully, I'll be getting lots of phytoplankton. So, that's pretty much it for this episode. Till the next one, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like it. Bye-bye.